，我一定。Obviously, you feel pretty secure about those chubby little legs of yours. See your muscles. Muscle. Muscle. Muscles. Muscle. All right. By day. Jumping up and down on the bed, young lady. Who me? The truth. Or I'm gonna tickle it out of you. Uncle Jesse. Yeah. Are you leaving me? Whole entire world. Ready and go. That a girl. This is a goodbye present. Shell, it's your pig. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, in that case, here, I want you to have this. This is my pink bunny, and I want you to put it up on the wall. And whenever you look at it, you can think of me, okay? You got it, dude. Goodbye, Michelle. What do I do? What do I do? Well, you can start by holding the spoon while I put on these. Chocolate sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles. Mm-hmm. And your favorite and mine. <laughs> the cherry. The party is Beijing. Now drop that cherry. <laughs> Aha! Baby shower. It's worse than I thought. Thanks, Michelle. You're welcome, boy. You're welcome. Nah, uh, there's nothing else I want to know. I hate to spoil your dinner. One question: You know the part where Yankee Doodle sticks the feather in his hat and calls him macaroni? Yeah. What about it? Is he calling the hat macaroni or the feather? <laughs> the feather. Well, then what does he call his hat? I don't know, Michelle. You must call it something. I think I saw a frog if you want to know. Oh, you got the little teeny glass frog. How cute. Where's Kermit at? It's my turn to feed him. Okay, you can feed him. Do you guys use the regular crickets or the new barbecue flavor? <laughs> well, how's the little guy doing now? <laughs> Whoa, that's the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. Is it on steroids? <laughs> no, I don't even want to look at him. Are you afraid of Benny? No, I'm not me. Then kiss him. Mommy wants a vacation from us. We could go to Grandma Mimi's house for Christmas. Good idea. Let's do it. How do we get to Grandma's house? Do I have to think about it. Now, come on. Hi, Steph. What you doing? I'm just looking at the shapes in the clouds. Why? <laughs> It's relaxing. Oh. <laughs> hey, doesn't that look like a kangaroo in a beach?
baseball cap? No. <laughs> Don't you see it? It's right there next to the horse eating the taco. Horses don't eat tacos. It's not a real horse, it's just a cloud. Clouds don't eat tacos either. Fine. There's no horse, there's no tacos, there's no kangaroos. Told you so. You know, you really know how to suck the fun out of cloud watching. Relaxing. Aunt Sophia was just so kind and generous. And I really miss her. And these cookies are her recipe. Cinnamon, her favorite. We always bake them together. What happened to Aunt Sophia? Well, about seven years ago, Aunt Sophia met a nice man. And they got engaged. And I guess... They must have run off together. But didn't she call you or write you letters? Welcome to the Monster Bash Weekend. Why did Picasso host? Because Halloween is our favorite day in the world. Tonight is just the beginning. Because tomorrow night is our Halloween movie. But first, a spooky new family matters. She's still putting on makeup. Dad, when do I get to wear makeup? Minutes are great, you know. <laughs> Sweetheart, you don't need makeup. You're naturally beautiful. So you're saying Steph and Deej are bow -wows? Hi, little Michelle. Are you ready for your first day of third grade? Are you ready for your third year of seventh grade? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> they like to moon ya! Vloggers no. and bug boys! Yeah! Beard! Maybe there wasn't even a mystery. Maybe we could go home. But maybe not. <laughs> Did you see? Don't tell me you're afraid of a little ghost. No, I'm not afraid of a ghost. I mean, we know dragons aren't real. This just doesn't make any sense. Sense meant. Some things just aren't logical. Welcome, Pudges, singing along. Watching the moon rising up in the sky. They're right here on my list. Oh, good. No, I mean right here. On my list. You forgot to send the invitations? I forgot to send the invitations. So let's invite everybody right now. I'll call Kara, Brighton, and Vanessa. Tell them we're having a sleepover party at our house. This ball down town! Warner Brothers has two perfect answers. <laughs> but what I see is me. I see me too. I'm the woman of the house. And you're off to a year-round boarding school. <laughs> now a couple of identical strangers have decided to play matchmaker. Oh. Lou, go home and tell Mom and Dad that we're safe. We are, aren't we? We're detectives. Detectives never think about safety. You know, sometimes I wonder if we're really related. It's a pretty flimsy alibi in the bathroom alone. That's exactly where I'm going again. Now, excuse me. Look, Mr. Kramer has obviously never left his cabin. But we saw him. No, well, you thought you saw him. But I was sure I did. We better tell security. This is really big computer, too. It's designed to stay in touch with 550 airplanes all at the same time. And you have only one airplane? The spirit of Christmas. And you've lost track of that one airplane? Olsen and Olsen Mystery Agency will solve any crime by dinner time. Hello, sweethearts. Madam Zelda here. And this is Ferris Wheel Fred and Carousel Cal. Say hello to the darlings, darling. Hi, darlings. Hi, darlings. But a softball was too big to have made these holes. 
And then there was the time our little sister Lizzie accidentally tossed a meatball through the attic window. Clue didn't mind catching the meatball. Unfortunately, a meatball fit perfectly into the holes in the shuttle's gas tank. You know, lucky for you, it's before dinner time. Now, tell us what happened. Can you show us where you last saw the compact? I think it's time we got down to business. So we all went to see the singing sharks. It's a top 40 kind of thing. Yes, I think. Yes, yes. Go, watch these sharks have big mouths. You don't understand. The ocean would be such a terrible place if there just wasn't sand. Sand, sand, glorious sand. If squish it in your toe, you can sift it through your hands. The grass may be greener. H2O! Next question. Who is the father of frozen foods? Remember the Alamo? That's correct, Mary Kay. Aliens. We found no trace of alien life until. Come here, Kate, look. Oh, look, they found something. It's a message. A message? It's a message from outer space. Can you read this? Uh, you where know frosting flower would look perfect? Where? Right here. Mmm, I love birthdays. <laughs> you love frosting. And parties, especially our birthday parties. Which reminds me, did you get the invitation sent out? A week ago. And did you get everything set for the party? I did that last year. Good, I've never done anything a year in advance in my life. You mean like you did last year? You shared all the cookies with each other before we even got one. That's not going to happen again. We made a pact. No brothers and their hungry friends allowed. It's a free mall, isn't it? I guess so. To answer your question, we came to the Mall of America to play golf. Want to play with us? Sure. OK. Don't feel too bad if we beat you. Oh, we won't, will we, girls? I'm so scared. Should we let him win? I don't know. I think we'd like to lose. Just practice. If at first you don't succeed, don't give up. Just keep on trying till you get up to speed. We're not sure. We're going to have to investigate further. <laughs> What about these frosty flowers? Well, like we said, they sprout up whenever it snows her. Whatever that white stuff is, sure are strange looking flowers. They're strange because they're not flowers. Personal ad on a billboard? The whole city would see it. It's matchmaking the way only the Olsons can do it. Very hip, very now, very cutting edge. Don't miss the fun. Don't miss the excitement. Don't miss the laughs. I'm liking this. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen star in their most awesome movie ever. That's so cool. Welcome to TGIF. And we're getting ready for our new show, Two of a Kind. But tonight, you're coming with us on our summer vacation aboard Disney Magic. Anchors away! Full speed ahead! What do you want? I just thought I'd check to see if your window's locked securely. Why? Oh, didn't you hear? A crazed killer escaped from the county jail. It was all over the news. Since you're gonna be up here all alone tonight, I wanted to be sure that you were safe. <laughs> yeah, right. Nice try. Paris. We're going to Paris? What do two all-American girls do in the City of Lights? Shopping. Ditch their chaperone. I don't do shopping. He's a geek. Meet a supermodel. She's très chic. I do shopping. <laughs> Fall head over heels for two French boys. What do you say? Who cares? And see the sights. Magnifique. Ooh, you met some boys. It's a wild... It was just a stupid wheelbarrow race. You know what? There's a gene pool problem here. Excuse me? I must have missed the good athlete gene. Don't be so hard on yourself. I mean, you're pretty decent at sports. Decent? I'm the only kid in the history of Evansville to strike out in T-ball.
Oh, we're just having a little fashion party. <laughs> what closet did that coat jump out of, Madison? <laughs> Would you say that has high fashion? Or just maybe convincing knockoff? <laughs> How do you know so much about fashion? My older sister studies clothing design at a fashion college. I get it from her. A fashion college? That would be so great. I'd love to visit a school in fashion design. Oh, I like these. You should get them. If you want the barrettes, I'll pay for them. Why? Because stuffing them down your shirt is against the law. It's called shoplifting. You guys should try it. Boy, you are. Look on the bright side. At least everyone speaks English. G'day, mates. Welcome to Steak and Kidney. What's with the Faradaggy Duds? You Seppo's gone troppo? Subtitles, please. Oh, no, no, no. We're just new. Oh, the name's Sheila. Oh, I'm, uh, Abby. Right. It's only 10 in the morning. I don't know what I want to wear. Well, whatever you pick, you'll look great. Are you nervous about Jesse? No. Maybe. Well, yeah, a little. Relax, it'll all work out. The girl who barfed at the Dodger game. Would you like to give it a go? exactly happened with you in that air duct anyway? I don't kiss and tell. You, you kiss? May I help you, gentlemen? Are you dreaming what I was dreaming? Winter break in Hawaii? Hanging out with like the cutest guys in the world? Dead on? <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Our first chance at independence away from the parents. <laughs> Alex and Madison Stewart, please report to the principal's office. Okay, lady. Muffin, croissant. Again. Faster, faster. When you're out on the battlefield, the customer's not going to be so patient. <laughs> croissant, muffin, scone? Yes. Now get out there, girl, and make me proud. Hi, welcome to the newsstand. What can I get for you? Uh, panettone, please. Artists. I don't get it. If it's a clown convention, why trapeze artists? It was either that or going as clowns wearing baggy pants and big shoes. As trapeze artists, you get to wear these. Definitely hey. crave worthy. You know, I've always dreamed of soaring above the crowd, flying, somersaulting, flipping. Maybe Tanya knows what's going on. Oh, and she really tell us? Okay, just because she's a senior doesn't mean she's gonna blow us off. Come on. Gee, Mark, I'm already going to a party in Santa Barbara on Saturday, but... Like, Friday's open. <laughs> Dinner at House of Blues. Um, we were just wondering if you knew why um, people were dressed like that today. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do anything. Well, guess you can't have your cake. You need it, too. Tay. I mean, we turned 16, got our licenses, and now we're just hanging out with our friends. It's all good. Yeah, you beat the DMV. That makes you totally awesome. Well, now all we need is a car. <laughs> no jokes, no playing around. First off, mail call. Mail call. No oh, good. <laughs> Italian boys. So adorable. I can't do that. Go for it. Hey, you want to go for a ride? You know this place? I saw a gladiator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just put it out. Let's see. She's got it. Yeah. Oh, that's in the habanero. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's read by Mary Kate and Ashley Olson. The Harpooned Heart by Marge Simpson. Your turn, Mary Kate. There once was a girl from Nantucket. Her name was Temperance Sparrows, and her heart was heavy with feeling. Take it, Ashley. Temperance was trapped in a loveless marriage. Bummer. 
I didn't know people were sad in the past. So does her sister. Jane Ryan. My name is... <coughs> a dead ringer. I am this close to winning the four-year scholarship to Oxford University. Stay away from me. Well, today... Who are you? A sheep in God's flock. Let me hear you say, bah. Bah. <laughs> you want a drink? <sighs> Mr. Johnson gave it to me after he confused me with his war buddy. I don't drink. Wine's OK, because Jesus drank that. But other than wine, I don't drink. <laughs> and we saw each other. And it was like that episode, 90210. When Brandon and Emily Valentine take ecstasy. Euphoria. What? It's called Euphoria. 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 Did you do something with your hair? I've gotten here by 8 o'clock. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I just wouldn't have slept the night before. You do not talk. What is your problem? This is my problem. I paid for this. Okay, they left the tag on. You saw the receipt. Really? I paid really? for it. Let yeah. me see it again. Yeah, I don't know Let where it is. is. Oh, why would I know where it is? What? Maybe it's just Does the committee actually care about things. Lindy Taylor's only going for treasure because she knows. No, I... But I think we're all bandwagoners will stop fearing for their social lives and make the right choice. Wow.